This is Ellen Mayan today, and it's time to go tell the world. What will you tell the world today? Since it's a big political week, I'm going to tell the world about integrity. Have you ever heard the word? We hardly use it in our world. We use honesty. Well, honesty and integrity are two good qualities that you want in our country, in our world, in your home, in your neighborhood. To me, integrity means this. You say what you mean, and you mean what you say. And then added to that, you actually do it. So are you a person of integrity? Do you say what you mean or do you embellish? <laughs> do you mean what you say or do you take it back? And then do you actually do it? Someone's counting on you. I'm counting on you to be people of integrity. I'm counting on you in this country to do what you say and say what you mean. We, you know, we, a lot of people don't like judge people by their personalities. Well, I always say this. If you have to change your whole personality for someone to like you, they're not worth the friendship. I meet and I play the part of Ellen Mayan, and I'm sure you're trying to be you. Well, with President Trump, what you see is what you get. He says what he means, and he means what he says, and then he does it. That's a person of integrity, like it or not. That's who he is. Someone can't change the whole personality for you to like them. They have to be themselves, and they're most comfortable as he is in being himself. That's what I see when I watch the political realm. Now, on the other hand, what if you don't say what you mean? And what if you don't mean what you say? And what if you don't do it either? <laughs> People can't trust you. You know, that's, that's what happens when you can't be who you say you are and say what you mean, they can't trust you. And he, the politics are what they actually do. They can say whatever they want. When I was in high school, I never forget, People running for student council or president of the class, they'd say, we're going to put Coke machines in every floor of the, of the school or in, every, in the cafeteria, whatever it was. And I'm going, yay, I love Diet Coke. However, they couldn't do that. See, so it had other things above that were blocking them from doing that. You could say whatever. I could say, when I grow up, I'm going to be, <laughs> and then not do it. I try to be a person of integrity. I hope you try to be a person of integrity, too, because then people can depend on you. And we have a choice before us. God set before us life and death in the Word of God. We read that. And it's that every journey of our life, from who we pick as a marriage partner, and I've just picked um, Dr. Pat Mongan, and now Deacon Pat Mongan, calling him Deacon Deer. But he would have a choice a choice of what career we want to be. We have to study hard and go for the career that we feel we're best suited for. We have a choice to have, have children. And in the Catholic faith, we are open to children. We could use NFP, which is a way to prevent, but it's natural. But we can't just have, have children and, and kill a baby, at least in my faith. But you know what? I'm off the subject. So let's get back on task. A person of integrity is, says what they mean and means what they say, and then they do it. Are you doing what you say? Are you mean what you say? And are you doing it? I watched the entire Republican convention. They couldn't make it up. No one had a script or part to play that was given to them by another person. It came from their heart. It came from their heart and their soul. Many wept watching it because it was very much a people of integrity saying what they mean and mean what they say. Some even said that they weren't a fan at first. I think it was the Vice President Vance. And then God changed their heart. They watched what he did. Now, if you watch what people do, then you can begin to judge their character. Oh, there it is. It's sound the alarm. Mm -hmm. Let's sound the alarm and tell people. Let's be who we say we are and then actually do it. I'm sorry, I forgot to turn on my phone, but you know what? Loopers and all, come on the air. See, our nation was built on integrity, one nation under God. They were trying to gain freedom from what they felt oppressed. Ooh, I don't like to feel oppressed. Do you? But someone keeps telling what to do and really they want it for their own personal gain or their own like, this is more convenient to, for me. I don't often be a fan of that, but we go by the word of God and by the, the for our country, the Declaration of Independence and, the, uh, and all the different constitutions we have, that we can depend on that to be a set truth. Um, my one friend, Debbie, always used to teach us, is that for my convenience or is it is it for your convenience or is it the right thing to do? Right is never wrong and wrong is never right. But if we look at our country right now and see what things are going wrong, well, we could change a few things and put them back one nation under God and according to the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. 
I'm sure you're getting tired of these pep talks for the politics, but I'm so excited. It's only 80, 80 days or less more to go, and we are we are rooting. Now, this week is the Democratic Convention. I encourage you all to watch it. I'll be watching. I want to see if they're, what they're saying and how it fits with my life, which is under God, one nation under God. Ellen Mongan and Deacon Pat under God. So but I have a, I want to say that, go back to, I say what you mean and mean what you say, because this will be a short one today, just so more people listen. Please pass it on. There's another candidate that's running, and the thing is, I want to say, I, 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 I actually watched her before when she was VP, and now I watch her run for president, and she had, she had one, she had one way of being, like, kind of like a preschool teacher, which I've been before, and I thought it was a preschool teacher personality. I was a stewardess too. I have a stewardess personality as well. And then guess what? Now she has that whole different thing going on. Now I don't believe in like judging by their personality. I mean, judge by say what you mean you say, but I want to shout out to the world. And then I want you to think about what I said and see if you're a person of integrity and you watch the Democratic convention and remember what I said. Okay. So here we go. Will the real Camille Harris please stand up? I don't know which one she is. Of course, I don't know her personally. I also don't know Trump personally. Personally, I just know what they say and if they do it. So I'm wearing my flag today. I just got this new scarf. It's like a cape. It's really like a, a for wearing a shawl. And look at it. It's got red, white, and blue. But not only that, it has the eagle. Can you see the eagle? And I stretch out my arms and I say, let's be wait upon the Lord. It's in, uh, it's in, um, let's see, it's in Isaiah. I think it's in Isaiah 40. Okay, here we go. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The Lord has to teach us to wait on him. We're going to wait and see. Those of you who are praying and waiting on God, we know the truth, and the truth will set us free. Those who are waiting and praying, and waiting and praying, and they may be getting, losing hope, don't give up. God always has the last word. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord, to wait. Let's wait, let's pray, let's hope, and let's, let's do what God told us to do. Those who are not praying for the presidency, you need to be praying. Those who are not reading the scripture, you need to study and read the word of God and see what it says. And those who are just, just watching and waiting to see what they're going to vote, I encourage you to vote your conscience, but you have to have a well-formed conscience. Here's a tip. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not steal. Thou shall not lie. Hey, those are tips. See, divine in the word. That's in Deuteronomy. It's the Ten Commandments. Let's have that boasted out there, along with everything else that we're putting on the airways. You know what? God sees your heart. He has the last word. He sees what you mean. You may say, I like your blouse. Really, you're thinking, why would she wear that? Oh, my. But he sees that in your heart. We have to, that, that's not right. So guess what? Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Get to know the candidates, but try to do more than just watch a, news, a certain news tip. Don't watch them all, even if you want. Read up. Ask people. Start conversations. And then pray and wait, and they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach us, Lord, to wait. Will the real President Trump please stand up? And will the real Camille Harris, I hope I said that correctly, please stand up as well? And see, this day we have two candidates. Who will you choose? What would you do? As for me and my household, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord if we win. We're going to serve the Lord if we lose. We're going to serve the Lord because he is God alone. And he is Lord of my heart and my life and my country. Tis of thee, land, sweet land of liberty. Oppression, life, death. We'll see. And God is good no matter what. They that hope in the Lord. They that hope in the Lord always are winners. Have a great day and be blessed. I sure am.